Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to Message Monday for 220... 2012. And um, let's get right into it. The first message is going to be from Xbox Live, and it is from Neon Phoenix, spelt with numbers and letters combined. So let's listen to their message, and I will respond. Hey, uh, Gas here, Max. Um, big fan. Uh, Halo 4, doing by 343. What's your opinion about them doing it? Do you think it'll be like Halo Wars, or do you think they have what it takes to do it? And a uh, quick second question, are you going to do any like machinimas on it, or uh, films, like playthroughs? Um, 343 doing Halo 4. Do I think it's going to be like Halo f Halo Wars? No, I don't think it'll be like Halo Wars. Um, just because that they made that game specifically, you know, with RTS in mind, whatever. Although it wasn't exactly a true RTS, because it was more made for... You know, it was on the console and stuff like that. But um, the thing about 343 is they, they've already been a part of, like, Bungie. Like, the whole kind of Halo family there, if you want to call it that or put it that way. So I, I kind of I have faith in them in that respect, that they've already dealt with the franchise. And they're familiar with the game and what it's supposed to feel like and stuff like that. So that's why I'm not completely writing off Halo 4. Um, there's a lot of people that are, I'm sure that are you know, on the 343 staff. That have had a lot to do with with Halo, the past Halo games and whatnot. So, um, but can they actually pull it off? Will it be a good game? I mean, Halo 3's tagline was "Finish the fight" and all that stuff. So, them coming out with Halo 4 is kind of like, uh, okay, you guys are kind of like pushing it a little bit. It's obvious they want they want another Halo game because it's a big cash maker. It's a big money maker. Who says cash maker? Nobody does because because it doesn't sound good. That's why. But yeah. Um, as far as doing like machinima on it and doing a playthrough of it, it depends. It depends on if the game's any good. I, I'm probably going to end up picking it up just like most people, who just because it is another Halo game. And um, I might, maybe I'll rent it more than likely. I, I usually, I always say I'll rent it, but I end up buying it anyways because I'm a sucker. So yeah, um, machinima wise, I mean, it depends on what they do. Uh, previous Halo games, they've, they've obviously realized that machinima is a big part of of uh, the community and stuff for Halo games and whatnot. So if they put in, you know, uh, if they make it easy to make machinima like how they have in the past, I see no reason why not to use that, you know, as a, as a way to make different videos and whatnot. So, um, but as far as doing a playthrough of it, depends on if the game is interesting enough um, to do it. Uh, you know, if the multiplayer is cool too. If I don't just, if I don't do a full playthrough of the game, usually what I do with most games like that is I'll just play some of the multiplayer or whatever side stuff that it has. So you'll you'll see something from me if I pick up Halo 4. So uh, yeah, that's kind of where I stand on that. But um, like I said, I'm not completely writing it off. I'm gonna I'm gonna at least see what it has to offer, and if it looks good, then yeah, sure, I'll do a bunch of stuff with it. So thank you for your question, Neon, and let's move on to the next Xbox message. Next message from Xbox is from Griffboff. Griffboff, I think that's how it is. Anyways. This is from Griffboff, and this is what they had to say. Hi, Gassy. I was watching the Meet the Bunny video, and I noticed something in the background that piqued my interest. Do you own a portrait of Kramer from Seinfeld? Yes, I do have a portrait of Kramer um, hanging on my wall. I actually recently just got this um, from Jordan. He he had it in his apartment, I guess, and he asked me randomly. He's like, hey, I, you like Seinfeld, right? I'm like, yeah. So he, he said that he had that, and I guess Monica wouldn't let him hang it up in the apartment or didn't want it hanging up in the apartment. So he ended up giving it to me. And now Kramer watches over me as I do my daily activities. Hold on, I gotta clear my throat here. <clears throat> yeah, um, I have a Kramer now hanging on my wall. And I'm out of, I've always wanted this, this painting or this poster. It's really, I think it's just a poster, but it looks all fancy with the, the frame that's on it. Um, I've always wanted it because I just thought it was, it was funny and I always liked that episode. If you guys do watch Seinfeld and know that episode, then you know why it's pretty funny. But, um, yep, I got the Kramer. Nice, uh, nice noticing that though. I'm happy that you noticed that. Yes, I do have the Kramer. Um, yeah, let's move on to the first PS3 message. First message from PS3 is from fire hawk underscore 44 and they say, hey, Gassy, my question is, have you ever been to Ireland? And if you could, and if you could what would you do while you're there? Big fan, smiley face. Um, well, Firehawk, I have never been to Ireland. I've always wanted to go. 
Um, and what would I do while I'm there? Probably pretty obvious. I'd go around to different pubs and drink. <laughs> But, in a, you know, with other stuff that I would do, obviously there's other things I'd want to do there, but I, the main thing I would do is probably go around and, and di- try a bunch of different local brews and beers and stuff like that and just hang out with people in pubs. Um, but I would like to, like, you know, visit, see the countryside and stuff like that and just different points of interest um, in Ireland. And, uh, yeah, maybe meet some, some people that follow, you know, follow the creatures and whatnot in Ireland. If maybe the creatures ever went to Ireland or something like that, maybe we could do that. I don't know. I've always wanted to go to Ireland, though. It seems like a really, really cool place to be and and experience, especially those pubs. Yeah. Ah. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's what I would do. And in short, I would uh, go to pubs, drink, meet people, hang out, and, you know, check out the countryside. But I do want to go to Ireland sometime. But thank you for your question, Firehawk, and let's move on to the next PS3 message. Next and final message from PS3 is from Naturally Gassy. Nice nice name, by the way. And they say, will you play the... D- the th- 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 and when I say that, I mean, will you play the Skyrim DLC if one comes out? PS, your videos are awesome. Well, thank you. Um, of course I would. I, I, I'm, I don't know if they plan on coming out with DLC. I know they just, re- they just released the, um, the Skyrim... Um, development kit or creation kit so people can actually make custom DLC themselves if they want to and you can download it and play it so that's kind of cool um, I haven't really looked at the DLC that's been made if there are any I haven't, like I said I haven't looked but I'd imagine there are some people that are working on some pretty awesome you know custom made DLC for the game so but if if Bethesda actually does make that uh, if they make like, you know, official DLC. Yeah, why not? Why wouldn't I play it? I've beat the main storyline for the game because it's pretty short. Um, um, but yeah, if they came out with the DLC, why not? I'd, I'd be all for it. But like I said, I'm probably going to go and check out some of the DLC that people have made. I'm going to give it a little bit of time before I do go look because that's the ones that are worth playing. Anyways, the DLC that's worth playing will probably take a little bit of time to make. Um... But I know Jordan has even messed around with the creation kit. I kind of thought about messing around with it. I think it'd be really cool to, like, voice for some of the DLC if people make it. Because as far as I understand it, you can actually make it where, you know, it's scripted events and whatnot. And actually have, like, quest lines that are custom voiced with custom audio, you know, for your for your uh, quests that you make. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, I definitely would play some DLC if Bethesda released some. But, yeah. Skyrim's an awesome game. Any more content for Skyrim to play would be amazing. Although I still have a lot of other, you know, quests to do that are not tied in with the main story to complete. So you'll probably see more of that on videos coming up. I haven't recorded some Skyrim for a while, so I'll probably be doing that. But yeah. That answers your question, Naturally Gassy, and let's move on to the YouTube. Messages. First question from YouTube comes from Amunox. Amunox? I probably screwed up the pronunciation of that name. But, anyways, they say, What job would you be working at right now if you never became big on YouTube? Hmm. Um, what job would I be working at if I wasn't on YouTube? Uh, I'd be working at Home Depot. I worked at Home Depot before. I started out as a sales associate in lawn and garden. <laughs> yeah, I know. Max- Mexican working at lawn and garden. is ridiculous. But I actually liked that job. It was pretty fun. Um, there was a lot of stuff to do. You know, you walk around, get some exercise, lift stuff, whatever. Um, and you also interact with people. Sometimes that's not good interaction, but most of the time it was pretty fun. And there was, there was some good people that worked at the store that I worked at. So that was cool. But um, since that was a summer temporary thing or whatever, I ended up getting rehired like permanently or whatever on as a cashier, which kind of sucked. So that was what I was working before I decided to make YouTube my focus and I guess quote unquote career as it were. That's where I would be working right now. I'd be a cashier at uh, Home Depot. And, you know, I was getting pretty tired of working as a cashier at Home Depot because it's boring. You have to, you know... And, and not only that, the big thing that I had with it was when I was a sales associate, you know, at least you could walk around and find stuff to do. As a cashier, if there's no one there, you're just standing around there and just kind of waiting for somebody to come by. And if you want to go pee, you have to check in with someone else and be like, oh, can I go pee? And then, you know, you got to wait and have them cover for you while you use the bathroom. So that kind of sucked. So I'm glad that YouTube has, has been working out for me and 
and uh, in that respect, don't don't think I take you guys for granted because I really do enjoy what I'm doing, and I realize that it's that it's thanks to you guys watching and being supportive that I can do it. I know I've said this before, but I like reiterating it so that way you guys know that I'm not just somebody who's like, oh, I'll watch my videos, give me money, blah 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 blah. So yeah, uh, that's where I'd be working if I wasn't doing YouTube stuff right now. So. Yeah, kind of glad I'm doing YouTube stuff. <laughs> but um, Home Depot as a, as a company is itself. I'm not, I'm not bad talking Home Depot. It's, it's a good company to work for. I just enjoyed working as a sales associate, not a cashier. Cashier kind of stunk. So, um, yeah, let's move on to the next message from YouTube. Thank you, Amonox, if that's Amon, Amonox. I don't know. It's kind of, you know, it's spelt like noun if you take away the AM there. I don't know. Whatever. Thank you for your question. And let's move on to the next message. Next and final message from YouTube is from Massey Game. Right? Massey Game? Yeah. And they say, I was wondering if... Oh, they say, hey, Gassy, I was wondering if you plan on doing anything on the PC game Tribes Ascend, or if you have interest in it. Thanks for your time, and if I could send you a cookie, I would, but as a pineapple, I cannot move. Ah, ha, ha, I get it, because your picture the pineapple. It's hilarious. No, um, as far as the game Tribes Ascend, I saw some videos, I saw a trailer on it, I think, isn't that free to play? If I, I don't know, I might have to double check on that, I, I thought it was free to play, I don't remember. But it looked kind of cool, that's the one where you're like kind of flying around and you sort of look like you're like a Halo person. Um, other than looking at the trailer, I didn't, I didn't follow up on it and look at when it was coming out or anything, I'm pretty sure it's out now. Because I think I saw somebody streaming once on Twitch when I was randomly browsing through. Uh, one night, I think I saw someone streaming that, so, yeah, maybe I'll have to look into that game and play some of it, because it looked kind of fun, so, yeah, do I plan on doing anything with it? Depends, depends, I'm gonna look into it and see if it's out, and if it is, I'll try it out, and if I like it, you know, record some videos with it, maybe get some of the other creatures to do it with me as well, I don't know, if not them, maybe someone else, but yeah. Looked like a cool game when I saw some stuff on it in the in the past. So yeah, thank you for your message, Massy Game. And that is the last message for YouTube and Message Monday. So as always, if you guys would like to send a message to Message Monday, you can do so one of three ways. You can send me a message on YouTube. And I, you know how to send messages on YouTube. Um, that's one way. Second way is to send me a message on Xbox Live. Gassy Space Mexican is my gamer tag. And the third way is to send me a message on PSN. My PSN tag is the Gassy Mexican. No spaces in that. And for all three of those, tag your message as Message Monday in the subject or what, somewhere in there so they don't get mixed in with my regular messages. And I know that it's for Message Monday. Just keeps things easier to, uh, you know, go through and pick when I am looking through messages. But thanks to everybody that sent messages for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it and watching whatever game I have in the background because I never know what game I have playing because I record the audio before I play the game. You guys didn't know that. Now you do. So hopefully I'm, you know, doing something cool in the background there. But whatever. Thank you guys for your messages and thank you for watching and I will see you later. Hope you guys have a very, very... Sexy day. All right. Bye-bye.